Hey guys, what is up? The Neocubist here. Welcome to episode 3 of my Terraria Let's Play. It really is hard for me not to say Minecraft Let's Play, which is kind of sad. I mean, I guess it's not really sad, but either way, welcome to episode 3. Thank you guys so much for choosing to watch me out of all the amazing content creators out there. I'm very appreciative you're watching me right now. So, basically, we're on episode 3, okay? We haven't done a whole lot. We got wood armor, but we don't really have a whole ton of ores or anything like that. Um, as you can see, I have zoomed in the game quite a bit, so my settings are as follows, 140 zoom and 170 UI. So hopefully you guys can see everything a lot better than you could before. So I figured we're going to take all of our bars, and we're just going to see what we can make, because we're going to be doing some exploring in today's episode, and I really don't want to die. Um, we do have a magic mirror to recall whenever we, we can want to go back home, so not a big deal. But let's scroll through here. Oh, we're not near our anvil. I was like, that's not right. Um, we don't need a sword. We have a really good weapon. I'm mainly looking for armor. Um, a tungsten helmet. I'll just make one of those because that's better than what we have, but I don't think we can really make much else. No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, well, let's put up our oars and let's... Wow, the tungsten helmet looks real weird. And I don't know why, it's just... <laughs> something about it looks a little odd. It's like has like a weird purple... Huh, Interesting. Uh, I do like my house. Um, we'll get NPC housing going at some point. I plan on just kind of conquering this tree right here. Um, which, as you can see with our cloud and bottles, both of them, we can uh, move pretty quickly here. And I realize now a lot of people are telling me the trapdoor is not a new item. Uh, but yes, in here, which I feel like these are bigger than they used to be. But I don't know for sure. But I'm going to put NPC housing in there as well as the rest of our house. So we're going to go to the right. I think if we look on our map here... Um, yeah, we have not gone to the right as far. That's the spawn. Um, I want to make a bed, but I think I need like a loom, and then I think I need web or something. I'm not totally sure how to make that, um, but at some point we will get a bed going so we can set our spawn point to not be over here. Um, but yeah, this is pretty fun. It's interesting playing a game and commentating that isn't Minecraft. I mean, you have to understand, I've done Minecraft on my channel for seven years, and I know I won't shut up about it, but it's just... It really is just so different, um, and I like it. I do. And why are all these why are all these slime spawning? Give me something good. I'm just kidding. Um, so eventually we're gonna. So basically, the goals for this series um, are just going to be pretty much what you do in every Terraria Let's Play: defeat all the bosses, uh, conquer the world, make some mob spawners, stuff like that. Um, but beating the beating the game sounds simple, but it's actually a lot more complicated. It 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 takes quite a while. Uh, detects enemies around you. I don't... How does that work? One enemy nearby. Oh, well, that's helpful. <laughs> okay. Alright, that's awesome. I love it. Uh, swiftness potion. Sure, we'll just take that because we're going to be traveling. I don't think there's anything else around here. Well, I don't think we're far enough into our world where we can say we don't need to be collecting every ore because, to be honest with you guys, we don't really have all that much. Um, and some iron armor would be very, very helpful. So we'll just gather this real quick. Uh, let's see. Does this lead to anything big? I know I want to explore the world, but part of that is going underground as well. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's actually very good. I wasn't expecting to find a dungeon this, uh, shallow in the world. Wow. Can be upgraded with torches. Oh my gosh, What is this a new kind of weapon? I feel like it's new, but I, I so many of these things I'm saying are new or not new. I think we already have one of those, but we'll just take it anyways. And also, I do know there's a loot all button. It's just I like to look at everything before I take it, because I'm still not that great at the game. Um, and yeah, I really do have like 600 hours on this game. I mean, people are like, how are you so bad at it if you have so many hours? No, I don't know. I'm just not, I'm not too nitty gritty with my games. I don't know all the... All the details. Like I probably should. Okay, let's get out of here. I don't want to go caving. I really just wanted to see what was in this chest. We'll grab this painting, though. Not sure what it is. Sunflowers. Okay, so we have a sunflowers painting. Perfect. We do need to get all the web that we see underground because I really want to make a bed. Because I'm tired of dying and then spawning in the middle of water. But yeah, I'm not really sure what this is. I guess you can swing it around you. It does 18 damage, which is more than our sword, but it doesn't have a projectile. Can be upgraded with torches. I really don't understand what that means. Let, here, let's make a crafting bench and let's just find out. So does that mean... Perfect. Does that mean I can... How do I upgrade it with torches? 
I'm, I'm quite confused here. Okay, so this torches this No, okay, you know what we'll just leave that 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 bench is perfectly on top of the hill We'll we'll try it out though. We'll see. Oh, oh, oh Okay, all right Not exactly what I expected, but you know what? It's okay. So I'm sorry. It's getting dark I didn't really plan on it being dark when I went exploring, but you know what? That's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes guys. Oh, man. Okay, well, this is the corruption. Okay. Oh, no. We need to be careful here. I don't want to die, but if I die, it's okay. I am happy we have corruption as opposed to, uh... As opposed to the crimson. I don't really like the crimson all that much. So, is this underground jungle? I'm pretty sure this is underground jungle, which is weird because this is a corruption biome. Interesting. Alright, well, you guys can't really see right now, so what I'm gonna do... And I know it's kind of sad. I'm really just going to wait under here for it to become day so that you guys can see better. It's no fun for you or for me when I can't really see anything to explore. So I'm just going to, I guess, encase myself like this. Do I have enough blocks? Uh, no, I don't. Well, I don't have any blocks at all. Well, you know what? We are standing right next to some blocks. There we go. One, two, three, four, four. I'm just going to pretend I need it for it. Okay, well, I'll see you guys when it's day. Alright, you know what? I'm bored. I don't want to sit in this hole anymore. I can't do it. So we're just going to use torches and hope it's bright enough. At least we skip most of the night. Okay, you know what? So maybe it'll become day quick enough. I am sorry. I, I, did, I wish that YouTube uh, didn't darken everything. Wow, a lot of things spawned. I should have listened to my radar more. But I have the ice blade, which is... Apparently people have been telling me it's like one of the best pre-hard mode weapons. Which uh, you get to hard mode by killing the wall of flesh down in the underworld. So we will do that eventually. Wow, there is a lot of these things. Okay, guys, you all need to chill, please. Please. All right, we're just going to run away. We're just going to run away. I think that's the best course of action here. Um, so it's weird because some of this looks like underground jungle, right? But it's in, the, it's in the corruption, so I'm not really sure what's going on there. Die. Thank you. Okay, let's see. What's in this chest? Another... Oh, well, that adds 1% damage. Ooh. We'll put that on for sure. What do these do? I think they just explode. No tile damage? No, none at all. Night Owl Potion. Ah! I need to make more of those. How do you craft those? <laughs> now, look, I can see at night a little bit better. It's mainly for you guys. I mean, I can see pretty decently, but I know that for you guys, it's a little bit darker, which I don't really know why that's the case, but it's just... It's always been that way on YouTube. Okay, please. Please, Eater of Soul, please. Okay. Man, I'm terrible. <laughs> we keep missing everything. Um, oh, there's another star. That looks like where a meteorite landed, but I don't think any, any meteorites have fallen yet. Wow, this is a lot of falling stars. Fallen stars. Well, increasing our mana little by little. Oh my gosh. Well, okay. That's interesting. I know it's very dark, but look, my sword lights up everything for some reason. It's an ultra-bright sword. Here, we'll put a torch down. And then continue our fight. Thank you guys for letting me letting me light up the world for the audience. Who's going to see me embarrassingly kill all of you? Oh my god, I can't hit. Please tell me no one saw me miss. I guess you guys all saw it, but let's see if I can guess the velocity. Okay. Only when he slowed down could I... The night's not that much harder. Only a few more things spawn. Once you get to hard mode, though, definitely gets a bit more difficult. So we're working with 80 mana now, which is awesome. I don't really plan on playing, like, one specific class in this game. I know a lot of people ask, like, Neo, are you going to be a... you going to do a mage? Are you going to do range playthrough? Are you going to do... I'm like, I just... I really just use whatever. And I know different armor sets give you good buffs for different classes, but... Eh. Okay, come on. Those things are deadly. So the jungle, the underground jungle at least, is like my favorite part of the Terraria world. Uh, by far the most beautiful part of the game for sure. I know it's extremely dark. Oh my gosh. I know it's extremely dark. Okay, hopefully this leads underground. Okay, hold on. I'll put a bunch of torches down. I'm sorry. There's just so many things spawning and I'm trying to... Well, I was trying to keep it lit up. I didn't realize my health was so low. There's for some reason so many things spawned, but I think it's becoming day, which is a positive for us. A very, a very big positive. Why are there so many falling stars? Fallen star. Why do I keep calling falling stars? 
I don't know, but it doesn't seem like usually you get that many fallen stars. Okay, well, let me run them back over there to the jungle. I'm not going to make you watch me uh, travel over there, but I'll uh, meet you guys back there. Okay, well, we're almost back here, and I'm serious about these fallen stars. Will someone tell me, have they increased in spawn rates since 1.14? Because I'm getting a ridiculous amount of stars. Just running over here one, one direction, I'll show you how much, uh, how many stars I've gotten. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I almost got hit by one. Dude, this is insane. Look, look at all these stars. And why did it start raining again? It like stopped raining for a little bit. And the game was like, nah, 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 nah. You see, you need, you need more thunder. That, was, that actually sounded realistic. Okay, well, we better get underground here. Man, what is with these fallen stars? Okay, well, this is right where we died, I think, was somewhere over here. But yes, I have 23 fallen stars already. It's interesting, because usually it takes a little bit. Well, we now have 200 mana, which I think is the maximum. Huh. I mean, I'm not unhappy about it, but it is interesting. God, there's so many things. Please. Guys. Please. Will you chill out, please? Oh, I thought the leaf particles were something bad. Oh, man. Okay, we're going to get down in here. Hopefully everything despawned that was in here. Okay, yes, piranhas. They're pretty weak. All right. Uh, do I have any glow sticks on me? No. But do I have a night vision potion? Yes. Okay, so let's get down in here. I have a terrible pickaxe. I have the worst pickaxe in the game, this copper pickaxe. It's absolutely terrible. Okay, this isn't going to work because you guys can't see. Man, it's so frustrating. Why has the night lasted so long? I feel like it's been at least like 15... Oh, it's only been like 10 minutes. Maybe 15... That's loud. That's very loud. How low... Man, there's so many things. Okay. What is the sound set to? I'm confused here. Ambient. Why is the ambient louder than... Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll keep it like that. I'm sorry, guys. I'm still new to recording Terraria, if you can't tell. I just got a few 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 little kinks to work out. Hopefully, you guys can see with this zoomed in. Um, I can zoom it in like this all the way. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Please do not let me die from this zombie. Um, and that, you guys can see the best, but it's also a huge disadvantage for me because I can't, I can't see anything. So, I'm just playing on 140. I feel like that's, like, the best setting overall for it the mix between what you guys can see and what I can see. I want to make sure. Oh. Wow. That was a, a cracked a cracked lightning strike. Oh, wow. I actually hit that shot. Come on. Can I hit this one? I hit it. I hit it. Oh, my gosh. Optic, I'm ready. Okay, hold on. Let me make sure I was on 140 before. Yeah, it's already been 13 minutes, and it's been dark the whole time, and I waited for quite a while. Um, while I, while, while I was AFK, so I'm really kind of confused. Did I get a double night cycle? Did I, did the game forget about, get, forget about making a day? I'm not sure. Huh. Okay. Well, we'll just keep on exploring. Hopefully we can not fall and die. Oh, wow. Oh. Well, see, I guess my space bar thought I had double tapped to the space bar, because I, I guess I need a new keyboard already. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we will wait until it's day to go exploring again. Hold on. Okay, so I think it's day now. I'm so sorry it was dark for the entire first step. I know I've been talking about it the whole time, but I really am sorry. We're going to go to the left because now we've gone further to the right than we have the left, so I'm curious to see. We stopped over here when we reached a snow biome. Um, I'm also... I'm not sure about this radar. It's... I feel like it's a little bugged. It's like putting the... It's putting the, that information in a weird spot. I took you off. I took you... Can I... Okay, you know what? No, I don't want to remove my radar. I guess it's if it's in my inventory, I get my, it's okay if it's over there. I just don't like it when it's like... I guess when the mini-map is open. Yes, flying fish, come here. Meet your demise, if I can hit a shot. <laughs> so, hopefully... I mean, there's a bunch of cool stuff. So, at one end of the world, there is... Or, both ends of the world, there's beaches, which is really cool. One has a really cool dungeon at the end. Uh, which is one of my favorite boss fights, pre-hard mode, I'd say. I don't know a whole ton about all the hard mode boss fights, but there's a bunch. Um, obviously, we're still very new. We have copper tools. Um, I still have this spear in my inventory. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure why. Um, I'm not sure why I kept that spear in my inventory. Don't ask me. 
I'm not too sure about this mace. So you you can swing it out, and it has range damage, and then you can you can kind of twirl it around and hit things. Okay. You know what sound? You're you're getting turned down even further. Even further. Actually, you know what? That's bad because I probably did it post editing, so I'm just gonna turn it back up. Okay, so I don't know where we had stuck. Oh wow. <laughs> Yeah, that, see, this makes it very easy to see. Can you tell? It's also very quiet. A nice whir. Well, now I know why I didn't go this direction. Maybe it, it had been snowing, but now it's blizzarding. I don't know if that's a, a verb. Or, sorry, wait, a verb? Yeah, blizzarding. I'm not sure. I don't think that is, but... Uh, I don't know. There's words I've, I've second-guessed myself on. I think that's one I made up, though. So there's these new trees. I don't know if these are new, but they look really good. A lot of this stuff I keep saying is new to the game. It's just stuff I've forgotten about. And it's not new. And not at all. Okay, come on. Let me get out of this weird snow biome. Okay, I think we're about to get out of the snow biome, which means no more insanely disorienting and loud blizzard. Yes, the desert. Where it cannot rain. What? What? Oh, wait. <laughs> I guess it, do it does rain in the desert, <laughs> don't get me wrong, I guess, but I thought it would stop like in Minecraft, but you know what? Makes sense. Oh, that was an enemy? A vulture, right? Well, I can't see. A scorpion? Oh, god. I do not like scorpions. So I live in Oklahoma. There's a lot of scorpions here. I'm not a huge fan. Not one bit. So the underground desert has some cool stuff, too. Again, if I find anything interesting, like going underground, I will take it. Um, the jungle, well, it was dark and I couldn't see and I died two times. One from falling in a very odd way. I thought, you know, I could, you know, brace my fall with this cloud in a bottle, but for some reason the game decided to use both my jumps like that in an instant, so. That's cool, you know, it's, it's okay. Oh man. Oh man. So some of these episodes will be longer than others just because, I don't know, I, I feel like content creators oftentimes worry because their videos are too long, but you don't have to watch this all in one sitting. But I think it's going to be longer than 30 minutes because nothing exciting has happened yet. And I'm not the kind of YouTuber who cuts out a whole bunch of stuff. Which, I don't know, some people say it's bad, some people say it's good. I like it, I like it just like raw footage, honestly. That's all, I've always liked YouTubers who did that. Some kind of videos need editing and I, I take out a few things here and there that I know no one wants to see. But for the most part, I show everything. So if you want to become invested in a in a series, a world in a series, this is definitely a good option. I can just tell you right now, this sound is just too loud. It needs to be like 15 and like 15. The music could go up a little maybe. Okay. It's completely dark in here. There's nothing in here. I've come back all the way full circle to a forest where all I can get is... Little pots filled with glow sticks and rope. Not a bit, not a fan. We're just gonna keep on a trucking. So we've traveled for quite a bit, and that's how far in the world we've traveled. So we're almost to the end. I will just make it to the end. I don't see the point in not going there. Let me close this map. There we go. What is over here? A big hill, which you could easily die on. I think my space bar, I mean, I use this keyboard a lot, you know, for gaming and recording and all that stuff, so I think it's just kind of worn out, because sometimes when I tap the space bar once, it does it twice. Maybe ambient should just be down. Yeah, okay, so, looks like on this side is Skeletron's dungeon. I think it's Skeletron. I don't think I can fight him yet. No. Um, and I don't think I would win either. I think I would get absolutely decimated, but in here is a very cool, very cool dungeon. Uh, but if you go in here before you fight Skeletron, you get whacked. And by whacked, I mean you, you get whacked by this dude. Oh gosh. Okay. I should not have. Okay. Well, you know what? We'll, we'll just let it happen because it's either that or I go home. Do I have any money on me? Not really. Alright. Oh, okay. <laughs> it has 9999 health, so it's kind of hard to beat. A little bit difficult, so don't go in there unless you've beaten the boss. First tip of the day, I probably should have explored that edge and gotten the chest down in the ocean, but you know what? It's okay. I'm just going to go underground now because I'm tired of this rain. I'm not really sure why this, why this day had double rain cycles. I'm not sure if that's a thing, 
I don't know, and I also hate spawning so far from my house. And the lightning is just real annoying. Okay, so where did we dig down at? I honestly don't remember. I think it was in one of these trees was where we started caving. I guess I can look at the map I have. No, it was over in this cave. Okay, well, looks like, guys, it was over in this cave. But there could be caves down in here, too. Let me just check. I don't even think I went down here. I think I just, like, saw this room and I was like, yep, looks good to me. No? Was I right? Maybe? But sometimes these little caverns can turn into something big. I don't know. We'll find out together. No? See? I jumped once, but the game decided to use my double jump. Okay, well, we're just going to go over to that cave system to our left, because I don't want to... I don't want to dig a bunch in there with a copper pickaxe that takes three years to dig two blocks. See? My habit, I keep trying to open the doors, but they're just so, uh... They're so much better now. Okay. So I think this cave was, like, right there. Perfect. All the vines have grown back. Somehow. Nice. Maybe the rain noises will stop now as well. So I don't need that anymore because I can do that. But sometimes it messes up. Ah. Much better. Much, much better. Much quieter too. You don't have to hear that annoying rain the entire time. So I'm sorry, but in, in the editing software, I probably turned down the the game sounds in this episode a whole ton. because Just because of that rain. Uh, but in the future, it won't be like that. Okay. Where do we end this off? Oh, there was minecarts. Did I not go this direction? There's a good chance I did go this direction. I think I had a Spelunker's Potion, right? And I was just like very quickly going through here. I think that that was what happened because we never really gathered all that many ores. I looked in that chest and I was like, I feel like I did more mining, but I guess not. So we definitely need to get some more mining done. Like in Minecraft, even though it's... Actually, I like, I like mining in this game more. Maybe just because I've played the game less. I don't know. But it also has really good underground music. And I think that's a big reason. Okay, this is a big pocket, which is honestly very suspicious. Because sometimes these big pockets can be kind of bad. Um, I'll get a mining helmet soon. Which we get from building a house for the merchant NPC to move in. He's the first one who moves in. And he sells some good stuff. The best thing, I think, is the mining helmet. Which you put on your head and it emits light constantly. Which, for me, will be the absolute best thing in the world. Um, and you can put it in this helmet slot right here. And it doesn't actually block your armor. It just kind of goes over it, I guess. So it's really nice. It really is. And that's a fat pocket right there. Oh, no, 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 no. The worm, I'm not really worried about. They're kind of a joke. But that slime... See? The worm boy is already dead. So yeah, about my Minecraft series, if you watch both, I'm not really sure what's going on. Um, cause yesterday when I recorded it, I wasn't enjoying it a whole ton. Um, but you know, sometimes when I record, I just don't enjoy the game. This game, I'm always excited and looking forward to play, I guess just because I've played it so much less. Uh, but like this, rec this recording session, this recording session has been uh, a lot better than it was yesterday. Which, it almost kind of saddens me that I'm enjoying another game more than Minecraft, but I think it's also healthy as a person to not just stick with like one game for 10 years and do it all. But I still have fun with the game, don't get me wrong, but sometimes it just gets, it just gets to be that way. Okay, how much 10 ore is this? This is like the biggest pocket ever. Sometimes these big pockets will have a bomb or like some sort of rock that falls on you and and hurts your guy very much. I, I think it kills you. It does like 180 points of damage, something like that. I think, but I don't know. It's just funny that we have that much mana already. I don't think... Yeah, see our mana is full, so we can't use that anymore. Okay. Man, these worms just do not like me being under here. I'm stealing all their ores, to be fair. I think they survive off of these... You guys are probably watching me fight, and you're like, Neo, you're so bad. You're not wrong at all. I wish I had a hook so I could just, like, stick up there and hit it, but... Okay, it's coming back. Is it? 
Okay, you know what, worm? You just you you do you. I'm gonna keep mining. I think I heard it die, and I'm not sure how. Is there lava down there? Maybe. I don't know, but let me know if this zoom level is better than the other one. So thank you guys for the feedback on the first two episodes. This episode and tomorrow's episode are recorded in one session too, so any suggestions you leave for me in this episode or episode four, I will take into account starting episode five. So I usually record more than one in a session. Okay, let's see what's in here. Okay, take care of that guy because this background looks a little different. I don't think there is anything in here. Oh, is that a big gold pocket? Oh, yeah, it is. Look at that. Now, that's a sight for sore eyes. Look at that. I don't think that's the proper way to use that, that saying, but I am happy to see all this gold. Man, I wish I had the step stool right now. It's a new item they added. I got it on one of my other characters I've been playing on, and uh, I think you press shift or something, and it makes your guy stand up just a wee bit taller. Um, you guys also told me... Oh my gosh. So the worm is back? I'm not sure. You guys also told me about holding down control for the smart pickaxe um, and smart wall placement and just... Oh, come on, dude. What the heck? How did I get one of those? Dude, I'm so lucky. Look, I just got 10 gold. Like, for, for no reason. This has two defense. It has more than wood armor. Okay, well, I didn't know I even had that, so we'll put that on. No, but look, I have 10 gold coins. That's quite a bit for the early game. And I think it's all just because I... Just because I... I don't know. I thought they came from pots getting broken or something. Maybe there was a pot down there. I don't know. But that's pretty nice. Pretty nice indeed. Let's see if these guys have any uh, any gold... I don't even know what they'd be called. A gold black hole? A gold warp tunnel? Actually, I have no clue. I know that's probably all wrong, but... Okay, I'm taking off the smart pick. I do like the smart pickaxe for placing walls, or the smart placement, or whatever it's called for placing walls. That's where I feel it's the most helpful. Um, but, you know, sometimes it's helpful for other things, too. Okay. But yeah, I already know that when I upload this video, people are going to be like, Neo, this video is too long. Please make videos shorter. Like, and I, I don't understand that. You don't have to watch the whole thing in one sitting. You can split this up into two, three sessions, or you can watch it all in one. I really don't. I really don't mind either way, but wouldn't it be better to get more content? I have no idea. And some people would say, well, you should make your content better quality. I'm like, okay, well, go watch someone who's better, because I'm not going to be that person, I don't think, ever. I'm just not that great at editing, and I don't want to hire an editor, because I don't understand how you send your footage to them. Because the way I record, and the codec I record in, like, this video will be, like, 150 gigabytes. Um, in footage, like the raw footage before it's rendered and everything. Of course, when it's rendered down, it's going to be like, you know, a lot less. Um, but I can't upload 150 gigabytes or send 150 gigabytes to someone to edit because that would be like, uh, that would be like a two or three day affair to send that much data. And then it's like, you know, I use up all my, I only have a terabyte of data a month, which is weird that they limit my home internet now, but I can always pay for more column and yell at him to give me more data something like that give me your cobwebs thank you thank you thank you oh no 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 okay I see I'm glad I have two two cloud in the bottles because there's very many situations where I would have died already had it not been for the second cloud in the bottle saving my life okay so by the end of this episode I at least hope we have a bed because after everything, I'd like to be able to set my spawn point. At least set my spawn point. Okay. Okay. What is down here? I see something I like. Is this silt? Mud. Okay. I was going to say, I don't want to place my silt because the silt gives me something when I put it in the, the sifter. The sifter or the extractinator. That's what it's called. Oh, come on, worm. Come on. Give me your best shot. Nope, please let me hit it. Okay, thank God. Those things, I just don't like the noise. I don't even... Now, there are some of them in hard mode that are a little more difficult. And there's also a boss that's a big worm that I get to fight that's in the corruption. Which is my favorite boss, I think, just because it's... I don't know, it's just really satisfying to, to defeat that boss. Because it, like, each section of it has a bunch of parts that drop loot. I don't know. No, I didn't mean to click that. I was trying to click on my torches. 
Whoops. Okay, well, either way, it's not really a bad thing at all. We're just going to go back home. We're going to sort everything up. Uh, we have a good bit of gold ore. I think I'm looking for it. We have 30 gold ore, 110 10 ore. Nice. And then we have 5 tungsten ore, 32 iron. So we don't have a whole ton of stuff. We do already have an extractinator. It's okay. I'll just throw it up in the chest. Not a big deal at all. But we can do a little bit of home improvement, as they say. We can put up this big, beautiful painting. I can put it right there. Look at that. Nice. Or maybe we should put it in closer proximity to this this table. Can it, can it, can it go behind? Really, it can't go behind. That's kind of weird. Okay. Well, we'll just set it right there. Yeah. I'm, I'm beginning to like the way this place looks. I think the guide has moved in here. Where's the home button? Okay. I don't know where it is anymore. You see, you pressed E, and there was like a button. Housing. Oh, there it is. Housing query. It's already occupied. So yeah, he lives in here. I guess because I put a table and a chair. Can you stop beating on my doors, guys? Hey. 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 Quit. Bad zombie. You too, bad zombie. Get out of here with your hitting. Ruining my videos. How dare you. Okay, well let's see if we can make a bed. I think we need to make a loom. Which, I we have a living wood loom. I think that's what that is. I'm like 99% sure it's a living wood loom. Living wood bathtub. Well, that's not it. A flaming mace. Oh, 99 torches. Ah. Okay, so that's how you upgrade it. Yes, sir. Let's upgrade it. What do we get? Nice. So it 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 flame it's a it's a flaming Can I light my tree on fire? No, but it does provide light, which I guess is helpful. And we can shoot it off of our body and it Wow. Huh. That's nice. I've never seen that. It does 18... Oh my god, I got a superior one. Ooh. I think that's the absolute best uh, variant you can get on a melee weapon is superior. I'm pretty sure. And then mage weapons, I think it's godly or something. But either way, guys, that does 20 damage. This only does 17, but it does have a projectile. So this has plus 11% damage and then plus 10% knockback. That's really, really, really good. Okay, well, let me go and see if it see if it works pretty good. Yeah. Nice. It's okay. It's not like my favorite weapon in the world, but it does the job. Okay, we really do need to get a bed, guys. So we are going to look through this crafting again and not get distracted by all the pretty weapons. Let's see. Living wood toilet. Workbench. Candelabra. I really just want a bed. Is it that hard? Or do I have to craft cloth, maybe? Is that it? A dirt bomb? A small explosion that will spread dirt. Hmm. I'm gonna go on a limb and say that's not it. Oh, how did you get in here? Oh, I see. They're spawning up here. Classic. We really do need to put a trap door here. Hold on. Can we make one? At the crafting bench? Can we... Wait, how do we make cloth? Man, this is gonna be fun. Okay, so a bed, I think you need cloth. You need to have a loom, but I don't know how to make one. Let's just smelt all this stuff first. Seven gold bars. Let's see, what can we put where? I don't know what this is, but... Uh, we don't need this. Don't need this. Okay, so we actually have a hook, which is a really good thing. We can eventually make... Actually, I think we may be able to make it now. Hold on. Where are all my metals? Okay, we're going to grab all of our metals. And we're just going to smelt everything, and we're going to see what we can make. Hopefully we can make some better armor. That's really what I'm what I'm hoping for the most. A, a great chain. I think the chains are what you need to make a hook. I'm pretty sure. Grappling hook. Yes. Right? Three chains and a hook. Nice. So I don't know if it's control. Shift. Yes. It's shift for me. Okay. Nice. So basically what that means is I can do that and shoot a nice grapple. And it allows me to just stick on stuff. See? The movement does get really good in this game. Um, nice. Okay. Well, good for me. I have a hook. I still don't have a bed, though. I'm trying to look through here. I didn't even make all my ores that I can make. Is there any sort of bed? Trash can, bathtub, toilet? No, I don't need any of you things. Um, do I not have enough ores to make... Where are my, where are my bars at? I'm so confused. I think I'm just an idiot and missed them. 
Yeah, there they are. Okay, so we got more iron bars. Good. We'll make more tin. Yeah. Can make a little bit more tin. I think we can do a full... No, we have a tungsten helmet. Okay, I don't want to make... I mean, tin is okay, but it's like... It's not great. Well, iron. We could at least make some iron boots. We'll throw those bad boys on. Don't need our wood anymore. A gold helmet. So that is four defense. That's four defense too. Wait, what? How are they the same? Okay, whatever. Maybe there's a multiplier difference or something. And then we'll make ten chainmail. Which, wait. This is two defense. This is two defense. We wasted our ten. Okay, well, let me look up how to make a bed. Because for some reason, I am an idiot and cannot figure it out. I have the cobweb, so I know you can make the cloth like that. But I think I'm still missing some other... What was that? So I think I'm still missing something. Okay, let me look on the wiki. Okay, well, I've found the rabbit hole that is this bed. So first of all, I need to make a sawmill. Uh, I'm not near the crafting table. That's why I can't craft half the stuff I'm trying to make. Where is the sawmill? Okay, so I need 10 wood, two iron bars, which I have two iron... I don't have two iron bars, really? Out of every material, I don't have two iron bars. Okay, well, let's go find some iron real quick. I want to make the bed, and then we'll call it an episode. Uh, where... Where can we find some iron? That's not iron. Man, I'm disappointed in us this entire time. It was so easy to make. So you have to make a sawmill. With the sawmill, you can make the loom. With the loom, you can make the silk. And then you craft it with, like, wood and silk, I think, at the sawmill. So it's not that hard to make. It's just a little tricky, I guess, at first. Uh, but the Terraria Wiki, if you're starting off in this game, it's extremely helpful to use the Terraria Wiki. Like, do not feel bad about using it to look up certain stuff because, I don't know. I just really think it's really helpful for a lot of stuff because there's a lot of little things in this game. And this game doesn't... This game is not the most new player-friendly game in the world. I feel like that's why it never caught on as much as Minecraft or something. There's just a lot of little stuff in this game that there's no way to figure it out unless you watch YouTube or, you know, read on the wiki. Uh, if you were going to figure all the fun stuff, fun secret stuff out by yourself, it would take way too long. And no one has the interest for that. Or is this? That's ten, I know for a fact. I really just need some iron, guys. Is there any iron around here? No, you're just going to send your stupid worms. Ha. That was perfect, actually. Maybe there's iron in this direction. We'll find out together. No. Okay, you know what? We're just going to look around here. I keep forgetting I have a grappling hook now. It makes the game a lot easier to play. Okay. Okay. Alright, we're not going to go in there. We don't have any glow sticks. We have 241 vine rope, though. So yay us for that. We'll grab this. Now that's iron, I think. Or is that 10? I don't know. They do look kind of similar, so it's kind of... Oh. I keep trying to build upwards, but I have this cool grappling hook. Is that iron? No, that's 10. We don't need you, 10. You're useless. Okay. We'll just go over in this direction. It should be a lot quicker. Now, is that iron? I feel like that's 10. Yes, that's 10. Unfortunately. That is iron. And that is iron. Okay, good. So we don't need to get a whole ton. Just these two pockets will work quite nicely. But we don't have a, uh, a hole down to the underworld, which we will make at some point. They're extremely helpful because you can just fall straight down them into the underworld, especially when you're fighting the wall of flesh, which is the boss that turns it into hard mode. So hard mode spawns more ores in the game. Um, I think more dungeons, maybe. But there's also, like, dungeons in the jungle, in the desert, stuff like that. Okay, so we have 24 iron ore. That's perfect. We are going to go home. Which is funny, because we don't go to home exactly yet. But we will very soon. Look how, much, look how bright and beautiful this game is when it's not raining. If only there was a way to turn off the rain, like in Minecraft. I, I would be a fan. I don't really like the rain at all. I, I think it's kind of bad. Kind of bad indeed. 
So I am sorry this episode's been so long, but at the same time, I'm really not. I hope you guys enjoy having extra content. It is a Saturday, and uh, a lot of us are still just staying home, hanging out. So it's you know it's not the worst thing in the world, I guess. I don't know if I could put up with me for that long, but some people can. Okay, a tin bar. Where's the iron bar? Yes, okay, so now we're going to make a sawmill. Please, I have the chains, I have the wood. Yes, we have a sawmill. Okay. Uh, we'll put the sawmill right there. And then we can craft a loom. Where is the loom? Sawmill, bench, bar, banquet table. Sword rack, spear rack, helmet rack, okay. Well, apparently you can make a bunch of- Oh, there's the loom. Yes, sir. Okay, let's make a little bit of silk. What is that? Can be worn in vanity slots. Tells time. Hmm. Do I want a gold watch or a ten watch? We're, we're not. We're not. We're not heathens. Okay, where does it show the time, though? Where does it show the time, though? I don't see the time anywhere on my screen. Maybe it doesn't work there? Do you have to put it... Do you have to put it in there? Oh, wow. See, why does it put it all the way down there? Huh, maybe it's because my map is open? Can I close my map? Okay, so it shows the time, but it has to be... Equipped in social slot, no stats or gain. I mean, that's okay, I guess. It's hasty, so it makes us move faster. Anyways, on with the show. We need some silk. I think you just need three... Maybe. Okay, hold on. Let me press back on my phone. I know, very unprofessional. Okay, I, so I made the loom. Yes, yes. Silk. I have made the silk. Yes. Okay, so for the bed, you need 15 wood and 5 silk. Okay. And you craft it at the sawmill. Fancy picnic table. Nope, 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 nope. I need me one of them beds. Sofa. No, close. We're getting close. I can feel it. What is... A woman a quin, woman a quin, and a mannequin, mannequin, woman a quin, woman a quin. I can't say it. I'm done. Oh, there we go. We got a bed. Woohoo! Wow, that's a big bed. Okay. Well, we're gonna have to craft some sort of loft in here or something, because that's that's just not gonna fit. Where's my living wood wand? I know it's it's in here somewhere. Is it in here? Living wood wand. Okay, cool. So we will put that like right there. And, okay. Oh, we can grapple, so. Now, how wide is this bed? Is it four blocks long? Dude, that's a big bed. I guess it's really not that big, but it's, it's a, yeah, it's a pretty big bed. Okay, so we will just throw that bad boy up there, like that, I guess. I don't know, it's not only a big of a, not that big of a deal. And then we'll just throw some platforms. Cool. So we have our bed. Um, it's not facing the right way. Can we place it another way? I don't think we can. Hold on. Yes. There we go. Can I sleep? Is my, sp is my spawn point set now? Spawn. Of course. So the bed doesn't even set your spawn point? Okay. <laughs> now hold on here. Hold on here, pal. Is this not how this works? No? Hold on. Okay, so apparently my bed is not in a big enough sized area. Interesting. So we will just move. We don't... I don't want to move that table. We. I think we just need a bigger house, honestly. Uh, the extractinator, and I don't even know what that is. A living loom. Interesting. We don't really need either of those things placed. I think we can even get away with putting them, at least one of them up there. The extractinator is a lot cooler, so we'll just put it up in there. And then the living loom, which, honestly, I really want to have in my house. It just doesn't really fit anywhere right now. Except maybe, like, right there. And then maybe our bed will go right there. Spawn point set. Heck yes. Okay. Well, thank you guys for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. This clock... See, whenever the map is open, it just looks wrong. It really does. It, like, puts it all the way over here. I wish there was a way to change that. I just don't... I guess maybe it's a bug with Journey's End or maybe because my UI is so zoomed in. Uh, but either way, thank you guys seriously so much for watching episode 3. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Yes, it was a little longer than usual, but you know what? It's a Saturday, like I said. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you early tomorrow for episode 4. Bye!